mercy me, oh mercy my Down on my knees I got my arms stretched to the sky Trouble to the left of me, sorrow to the right Can you hear me Lord and can you lead me to the light I lift my voice, I call your name As I toil down in this valley of strife and pain I've been over backwards, paid it all forwards, don't have a dime to my name. And my debt to you could never be repaid. When the heat wave starts to break, and the ice and snow melts away. When the tears we've cried have all run dry, we find the rainbows in. We'll be walking in the sunshine with him. pieces ready to hang. I might need help with that though. David is outside working on the water tanks. And it was a fuse. 
for whatever reason. <laughs> Stain. Oh, is it on my face? <laughs> I'll be back. Water speaking around here inside open. Not that I'm aware of. Wow, what's going on? Okay, I gotta figure out. Do you want me to find it open? Go ahead and open it. I've already ran water out of the spigot. Oh, yeah, well, okay. Yeah, let me, uh. Okay. What happens when you don't mix dark versus in that a short amount of time? In that short amount of time from doing those to that. Wow. I'm really, I, and it just never occurred to me that I needed to stir it again. I know, I wouldn't have thought so. It's been five minutes. Wow. Uh, and that's probably, well, I mean, would be a lot of trouble, but that's probably something that you could use the horn stripper to remove that if you wanted it to be that. Oh. But I know, I know. and I had a smart attack. First one, I clipped it off even. Yeah. Second one, I did leave a tail. <laughs> so we could reuse them. Reuse them. Good <laughs> but, idea. But those okay. are, but they can easily have another wire put on them if we need to use them for anything else. Okay. 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 How about Okay. You know, I'm thinking I need me a a nice uh, tool chest. You know, that's got like three layers of tool chest and set it right there. Did you notice the tools hanging on the wall? Oh, so, out here! Yeah. No, I've been walking right past right them. Past. And it's, it's you've told me this before, like. You don't even say nothing about what all I've done. I know because you you're so busy doing the stuff that needs to be done. I did. I did, and you know I started to put it right here where the stove goes. Right, yeah. Well, thank you for that. Uh, here, I'll show I'll show you. There's nail holes. There's screw okay. holes. 
Uh, and then I got them in the right place. A little dab of stain will take care of them. Yep. And it's like I had to drop, I had to drop that down an inch and a half. So there's a couple more holes down there to oh. paint it over. <laughs> okay. No <laughs> because, worries. Because of the down pipe, yep. I had a piece that was that long. <laughs> and the... And the spigot was up here, so I, I hooked it on and moved the spigot. Oh, down. okay, I got gotcha. you. Make use of it, yeah. So, uh, uh leave it. Wait, uh, you got a video of it? Yeah. Here come water. I guess I need to get me a garden hose there, huh? Yeah. You got that one twenty-five foot one. And that bypasses the water heater. That bypasses the water heater. That's cold water only. Okay. So the hot water goes into the house from the water. Well, when yep, and when we hook it up. And right now this is temporary. And right under here will be the bathtub pipe. Okay. And this will be teed off into the bathtub. So it will feed the faucet and the bathtub from the hot water side. Okay. Okay. And do we have a piece of pegs? And we actually have enough left over for me to do that right there. Yeehaw! No more pegs buying? Uh, that Maybe. should be it. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, and then we've got we've got insulation to put on. Yeah. So that'll that'll be okay. put on. Okay. Uh, I just spent the last ten minutes recording under the house, and there was nobody there. Unless you got under there when I wasn't looking. No. <laughs> I had already, uh, had already finished under there. Oh. And, look uh, look up here and say, hey, David. Hey, David. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It's Sunday, and it's going to be a busy week. Actually, it's going to be a busy day because rain's coming. Yay! <laughs> I have a lot of projects going. I have a lot of projects completed. As you saw, I was able to stain the wood, and then I hung the wood as a trim work <laughs> this week. Now that my water is running out of my faucet, I am number one, I'm grateful for the rain coming. Number two, next week, when David comes, we're going to set up my bathtub. The water is already ready to come into the bathtub, but I have to put floor down, save it for a rainy day. <laughs> I am assuming that my children are returning today. They have been gone a week. It is a seven, eight hour drive. So I won't see them today would be my guess. But I have really enjoyed taking care of Bo and Arrow. I am working on these projects, crochet projects. I did this when I was in the tiny. And I wanted it to be a curtain. And then I realized that you wouldn't get the whole effect with light coming through. It just looks like a big giant granny square. So I decided it's going to be another pillow cover. So now I have two. I have one that is in Piper's colors. And I have one that... I don't know what this was. I think this is wool. <laughs> now, I know there were some of you wanting to see me crochet that bunting pattern. You don't really want to see that. I made five of them. All five of them are the same pattern, different times a day, <laughs> same needle, same thread. But not one time did the pattern come out in my head, the way it was supposed to come out. So you can tell, you can tell they were all done by the same pattern. And I'm going to make one for my big window. And I think I'm going to make some smaller ones. So I'm still going to try. 
I'm just not very good at it. So you may or may not see me crocheting it, but I can tell you this. You will not see a tutorial. I cannot teach you to crochet. There are beautiful, wonderful teachers of crochet, knitting, macrame on YouTube. I'm not one of those people. I can show you what I do, but I can't really tell you what I'm doing. Now, what's on my list? Y'all want to see my list? My list that I had laying out on the table when I was doing that staining. This is it. One of the things I wanted to do, and I have purchased new stain for my steps because I did not want them coming out redwood when the rest of the place is dark brown or black. So I ordered another outdoor stain that will do that. I also discovered that if you stain those boards and bring them in the house, you have to leave the windows open all night, which is what I did. <laughs> and I can still smell it. But my little shelf that you saw that I stained, I built that, and I'm thinking there's probably a video of it. I built that in Dolan Springs now. It's in my kitchen, my new kitchen. So I have kind of in my head just determined what spaces in this one open space are. Now we're sitting in my living room and across the way, I've got the window on the left that faces west. That is going to be part of my living room. That's where my rocking chair will be. I finally decided what color to paint my rocking chair. The wood stove's coming. As soon as we get this water settled, and we're about this far away from having the water all set up and ready to go, and when I turn on my speakit in my kitchen sink, I get about a half a gallon of cold water come through. So I take, I catch that water, and I put it in my water filter. I've got a, what is that? It's Alexa Pure. You see it sitting on the counter. Okay. There is a lot more to be done. And I just want to thank you all for being here with me. And this is something I wanted to share with you about YouTube that I learned this past week. They have, they're kind of letting AI run YouTube. And what recommended videos you see and what they do what they're doing because i kept thinking how are they able to say that because they're saying things that normally youtube would take down a few years ago they'd just take it down well the reason they're doing that they just leave it they just don't show it to anybody <laughs> So there's a lot of people that I subscribe to out there speaking the truth. I have to go hunt them down sometimes. They won't even recommend it to me. And even if you're subscribed, I'm talking about people I'm subscribed to. They're, they're not bringing it up in my feed. I, a lot of time, or my, you know, there's two versions. You can go to your subscriptions on your YouTube app, or you can go to home. I get the same thing. What I get are the ones that didn't come into my subscription notifications, but here they are showing up as a recommended video. So they're only going to feed you what they want you to see, what they think you will watch. It's all run by AI. It's amazing. Because there's people out there with tens of thousands of subscribers who are getting hundreds of views instead of thousands of views on their YouTube and it's AI we can't we can't fight that but here's the thing we can just keep spreading the truth because they think they're in control but our father is in control and if he wants you to hear the message you're going to get the message one way or the other because if he can use a jackass to speak to a man and get him to do the right thing, <laughs> certainly 
he can use our YouTube channels. So y'all, it is Sunday. I ain't even put together a video for Monday. And for those of you new, I put out videos on Monday, on Wednesday, and on Friday. And generally, I set them to come up into your feed at 5 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. I'm glad at least they're letting those few people through. Because I'm not one to have thousands of friends. I'm one, I want a few close friends. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for YouTube and for this outlet. And I'm grateful that you're here and you're watching my videos. I hope you're inspired. I hope you're encouraged. And as I get well, because I'm still getting well, it was a rough time over there in the desert that last year. And I've had about a year trying to recover here, knowing that everything that I thought was going to happen didn't. <laughs> and some things that shouldn't have happened did. And it was kind of traumatic for an old lady. But we keep walking. We keep walking because Father's with us. And He gives us strength. He gives us courage. And He gives us wisdom. So let's all be grateful today. And y'all go out there. Have an excellent Monday. And for those of you over here, huh, the rain's coming. Get ready. <laughs> I love y'all.